Caitlin Clark mania reached a new high Sunday. The Taylor Swift of college sports had fans traveling to Iowa City from all directions. Not many people expected Nolan Ryan, Travis Scott, and Jake from State Farm at the same game. It's the senior day, Caitlin Clark effect. The most hype goes to Clark passing Pete Maravich as Division One's all-time leading scorer. Now, Clark and Maravich have enough in common for Caitlin to joke she's been called Ponytail Pete. They're both prolific scorers, creative passers, and charismatic draws. Both change the game. We should celebrate Clark and Maravich without putting one down to lift the other up. Now, if you don't know Pistol Pete's game, go to YouTube. It's like they dropped a globetrotter into late 1960s SEC. Just a jaw-dropping talent. Maravich played so long ago, freshmen weren't allowed on varsity. So he did rack up all those points in just three seasons with no three-point line and no shot clock. But Pete also took nearly twice as many shots per game as Caitlin. In fact, Maravich averaged more shots than Clark has ever taken. Clark also shoots for a higher percentage from the field and the free throw line. Her average rebounds and assists top Pistol Pete, as does her team's winning percentage. And there's this. LSU didn't integrate its basketball team until after Maravich left. He did play against some black players, but it goes to the folly of comparing eras. Same sport, different games. Lisa Bluter's right. Clark doesn't have to break a man's record to be recognized. She doesn't need that validation. Maravich was a unicorn. So is Clark. We don't have to pick one and shun the other. We should appreciate both.